Jubilee's assertion that the only problem for Jubilee was uh, the overwhelming number of voters. Do you believe Uhuru's assertion that the only problem for Jubilee was uh, the overwhelming number of voters? This, of course, comes from that uh, press briefing the president gave earlier on in the day, apologizing to the supporters and uh, saying they were overwhelmed by the number of voters who turned out and uh, they had underprepared for it. So we will be taking a look at a number of your views on a Twitter, and I will be sampling a number of them just before the end of the program. All right, the Jubilee Party has finally announced a new date for the repeats nominations exercise after yesterday's fiasco. KTN News reporter Timothy Otieno has been following this story throughout the day. Timothy, good evening. How does Jubilee intend to do it next week? Well, basically, Akisa, Jubilee is now taking three days uh, from next week, beginning Monday all the way to Wednesday, uh, to conduct fresh party nominations. The exercise begins on the 24th of April, which will be on Monday, where six counties will begin that new exercise to try and get uh, flag bearers for the Jubilee Party across many of the political seats. On Tuesday, 28 counties and members of 28 counties will be going to the polls to elect their nominees. And finally, on Wednesday, 11 counties will be going to the ballot to decide who will carry the flag of the Jubilee Party come August the 8th. This is what Rafael Tuju, the Secretary General of the Jubilee Party, had to say in regards to which counties were going to the polls on which particular dates. Have a listen. Uh, I can read uh, the timetable. It's very long, so the best thing, I think, is just to mention the highlights and then we'd ask you to go to our website because it's been posted there. And if any of you require uh, a copy of the press release, then you should be able to get one. Mm -hmm. um, we are going to continue with uh, the primaries on 24th, 25th, and 26th. We have divided it just to reduce the pressure on our logisticians who have asked for more time to be able to do this. So Nairobi is definitely taking place on Monday. Uh, Barinko, Elgeo Maracret, Kirinyaga, Bomet and Nandi are uh, mentioning those in total so that those who are preparing themselves for uh, Monday can continue to make those preparations. Uh, the others are slated for Tuesday and Wednesday. And I would like to also add uh, that uh, because our people in charge of logistics are still working on this, in the unlikely event that uh, they tell us anything that, you know, there's any kind of hitch, like let's say uh, uh, some ballot papers, they have counted them and they are not enough, we don't want to make the same mistake twice. So if they tell us, sorry, we're not ready for this place, we will give the update to all our aspirants through the media and we'll give the update to our, um, our officials, both through the media and uh, directly through the forms of communication that we have directly with them. As if I can say Tuesday, we have Lamu, Wajir, Mandera, Masabit, Turkana, Samburu, Kilifi, Tana River, Mombasa, Kitui, Machakos, Makweni, Kakamega, Behiga, Bungoma, Busia, Homa Bay, Migori, Kwale, Garissa, Nyamira, Isiolo, Kisi, Kajado, Kericho, Moranga, Kiambu, and Wasin Gishu. Um, then most of the, of the earlier planned uh, uh, nominations, which were already slated for that day, we've kept them there, but we've added a few more, uh, the, a few more of the repeats. Now on Wednesday, we have Nyeri, Laikipia, Embu, Taita Taveta, Nyandarwa, Narok, Nakuru, Meru, Trakanithi, West Pokot, and uh, Transoya. Well, apart from the new dates, the Secretary General, <coughs> I beg your pardon, did say that, of course, new ballot papers will be printed. Now, he did not indulge the materials that will be used, whether these new ballots will either have new colors 
or new codes attached to them, of course saying that he wanted to protect the integrity of the process and keep that as a surprise until when the exercise begins. He also added that nobody was fired following yesterday's failure of the exercise to go smoothly smoothly across most of the counties, but indeed say that in some counties there will be redeployment of staff. He did not mention which counties, but say that there would be redeployment in some specific counties. He also added that the party would stick to its rule of using the party register to conduct its polls, except when there may be issues, then they would rely on the IEBC register as a backup. But earlier on in the day, the party leader, the head of state himself, from State House uh, came out publicly to the nation to apologize for a process that many say was doomed to fail from the beginning considering the number of uh, reactions that we had gotten from most of the counties. Of course, he said that he apologized and urged that his party members and party supporters remain calm and not lose faith in the Jubilee Party. He promised that the elections this time round would be free, fair and credible. Let's have a listen to what Uhuru Kenyatta said. Well, the party, and that is our Jubilee Party, was prepared for a normal party primary. We were confronted instead by a full-scale general election in terms of the sheer massive turnout that we all witnessed. We take this opportunity to say that to the millions of party faithful who turned out to vote and to the thousands of party aspirants who turned out to compete for our party's ticket, we unreservedly apologize for the underpreparedness for the magnitude and scale of the nomination exercise. As I have repeatedly said, the Jubilee Party is committed to free, fair, transparent, and credible nominations, which, as we have repeatedly stated, must reflect the will of the people. Because of this commitment, we also took another unprecedented and very difficult decision to cancel the entire nominations exercise because doing anything to the contrary may have resulted in a subversion of the democratic will of the people. It is not that we were unprepared. We were underprepared. We were underprepared for the sheer scale of turnout that was witnessed. And therefore, we did not have adequate material. We are not interested in what the opposition is doing. Let them run their affairs. We are running our affairs. We are just appealing to our people, be patient, allow us to prepare ourselves so that you can have your say in terms, in, 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 in terms of, 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 of who shall represent you as a jubilee as a jubilee candidate Well, indeed, that's the president there apologizing just two days after he had exuded confidence that the process would go well. After that, the deputy president did head to the party, the Jubilee Party headquarters, and has held meetings with the party leadership up to about 6 p.m. this evening just to show how serious they're taking this next round of voting. It's also important to note that uh, the party secretariat, led by, uh, of course, Rafael Tuju, did have a meeting exclusive exclusively with the IEBC this afternoon, perhaps in regards to extension of that deadline. Remember, on Wednesday midnight is the deadline for the submission of the list of nominees. We are aware that the Jubilee Party will be holding nominations for 11 counties.